The city of Nina is taking new steps to protect our poll workers and citizens on election day. Local Pies Paul Evenson brings us the story. A simple walk through the city's newly renovated finance department and its glass employee windows gave Mayor Dean Coffert an idea. As I walked through finance and saw that, I said, you know, that same concept could work for our poll workers and for our voters. After a few sketched designs, one of the city's maintenance employees created a plexiglass shield that is now being tested at the city hall's polling location. The city now plans to use the shields on election day as an extra line of defense against COVID-19. Poll workers love them and uh, we were able to get it done in a pretty you know, short period of time. Uh, and, and we're going to have these at the election. If we're going to do the election, we might as well make it as safe as possible for not just the workers, but also the voters. The city hopes to have plexiglass shields like this one at each of the polling locations come election day. But they also hope that voters still choose to take advantage of absentee voting before Thursday's deadline. The city had to suspend early voting late last week due to a shortage of workers, but reopened early voting this week. The city clerk's office has already seen over 6,000 absentee ballots compared to a normal election where roughly 500 voters may vote absentee. Despite the strain on the workforce, they're still hoping for few to none face-to-face -face voters come April 7th. We are recommending that people vote absentee if possible, um, trying to keep the numbers way down, possibly none on election day. In Nina, Paul Evenson, Local 5 News. And the plexiglass shields cost around $100 each to construct, and the city is uh, hoping to receive some compensation from the state to offset the expense.